All right, so I'm at Knoebels and the park is already charming. It looks really nice. It's, it's a weird park for sure, but yeah, um, gonna ride. We're gonna ride Phoenix first. Uh, so yeah, can't wait to see what this is like. I really don't know what to expect. Oh my god, Phoenix sucks. I got stapled on it. Like, seriously, it's terrible. Phoenix is absolutely insane. Um, it, it lives up to the hype. Like, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's just an, a fun ride. It's it's different. Like, I rode car or car one row three first, and that was a great that was a good ride. Um, you really don't know what like insane buzz bar buzz bar airtime is until you actually uh, ride a coaster that that had like maybe one moment of ejector, maybe two, maybe zero. But then I rode back row and that had so much. The air time was so much stronger. At the end of the hills, you just get absolutely yanked and it, it kind of hurts the area, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, it, it's it's an insane ride. Um, Yeah, that is just so insane. Um, I really don't know where to rank it though, but it's it's probably in my top 20. Um, definitely top 25, uh, amazing ride. I just got off Twister and that's a fun ride too. Um, the laterals are really good on it. Uh, there's a bunch of dead spots, but the, the pacing at the end is actually really good too. It was just a really fun ride. It was a little rough, but really not that rough. And yeah, it was, it was just a really solid ride. It was better than I thought it was gonna be. Just rode Cosmos Curves, which is my 150th coaster. N nice skinny coaster.
impulse actually surprised me. Um, it has really good restraints, uh, and it, it actually has like really good positive Gs too. The, the positives are actually really insane. Um, it's really all it does, but I mean, it's it's very intense right actually. Um, so yeah, I actually really enjoy it. They've got this cool area here you can see flying turns, which unfortunately is closed today. But yeah, uh, at least you can get this great view of it in here. Okay, I just got a, a third ride of Phoenix in the back row because that's the best row and it was pain free and yeah I, I think this ride is probably like my number 16 maybe even could move above the accelerators which are higher than it um, But yeah, it, it's an insane ride. The, the buzz bar every time is it's so good um, it, It's just insane. It, it's unlike any other coaster I've ridden. I see why I honestly see why it was rated number one in the Golden Ticket Awards um, Because I could see why it's just it's such an insane ride Oh my god, this log flume has insane ops. Six flags moment. Just did this log flume and it was a really solid log flume. It's nothing special, but it was it was a nice fun ride. So the park actually has this cool museum. I like their coasters and stuff. Um they, they have like stuff over here too. Uh, I had no clue about this. This is actually like really cool. They also have this mining museum which is really cool. And they just have this random dino for some reason. Hey, look, I'm a Disney vlogger. I'm eating. I'm showing you guys my food, but yeah, we got pierogies. I'm gonna try this. I'm a, I'm a food reviewer now. Anyways, if I can get this fork out of the wrapper. All right. Oh, these are good. These roofs are like really cool. Uh, I like what they did here. Like the, the park just has all these little touches that are just like cool to me. Uh, this haunted mansion ride is insane. There's, it's so long and there's so many scares. Uh, it, it's just funny too. It's, it's one of the best dark rides I've ridden. Best bumper cars in America? Yeah, I can believe it. Definitely the best that I have ridden. Uh, it, there's they just go so fast and you can hit so many people. It's it's they're so fun. They're, like I said, they're easily the best bumper cars uh, I've been on. Oh my god, guys. Flyers are insane. They live up to the hype. It's so easy to snap them. Like, I was worried I wasn't going to be able to snap them. No, it's literally so easy. Um, and it, it kind of hurts. It's so insane. Like, you create tension in the cables, and then once, like, you get it back, uh, it, it sounds like it's going to fall apart, and it feels like it's going to fall apart. It's so sketchy. It's probably the most sketchy thing on a ride I've felt, but... And you get absolutely launched and it, it feels so fast too. It feels like it's going 100 miles an hour. It's insane, yeah. That, that's like a top five flat ride for me. Uh, that ride was amazing. The opt also didn't care too. So I, I got to do it like 15 times. The cycle was really long. Like I said, just a, such a good ride. I just rode Twister back row this time. And uh, yeah, that was somehow even smoother in the middle. And the laterals were like twice as insane. There's even some air time back there. The pacing is amazing. I don't know where it's gonna rank for me, but that's literally like one of my favorite Woody's that I've ridden, like traditional Woody's. It's actually a really good ride. It's insane. It definitely blew me away. It exceeded my expectations. So I just did the antique car ride and it was really good. You got to like go under and around Phoenix, so I got some nice shots and footage of that. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was actually really good just because of the views you got on that. So if you want to get good views of Phoenix, definitely ride that ride. All right, so I'm just finished my day at no, was leaving the park right now. I got eight rides total on Phoenix. Um, that's in my top 20. It, it's an insane ride. Uh, and Twister is like in my like top 40, top 35 maybe. Um, that That's an insane ride too. Uh, don't underestimate that. Uh, I was gonna get another ride on Flyers, um, but it, it broke down. I was gonna get a POV too, just to show you guys how insane it is. But yeah, I'll always remember that one ride, how insane it was. But yeah, um, I really, wasn't planning I didn't know what to expect from this park it didn't I didn't really understand the hype but um I, I do now um it's not one of the best parks in America like some people say but it is a really good park and I had a really good day it, it's just a really fun park they have really uh good rides that'll keep you busy so yeah um but that's that's gonna be uh it for my day at Knobles, and I'll see you through these later